as well as I got to watch the Killers game. It's a brand new movie with Dave Bautista, and it's uh, it's about a veteran assassin who's diagnosed with a life threatening illness and authorizes a kill on himself so the life insurance can get paid out to his girlfriend. Mm. But after he mm. orders this kill, uh, it turns out the doctor fucked up. He's not dying. He just needs to get a massage and wear glasses. So now he's has to kill tons and tons of assassins because he, he hasn't been wearing glasses. So it's like uh, so and years of trauma to his eyes and shit like that. So this movie, I don't know what to fucking expect because it's Dave Bautista. I like him as an actor, but like, you know, he's not one of the best. In this movie, is he like he's not buffing this one, right? I, I mean, he's still big as fuck. He's skinnier. Well, he's same a, skinny. Yeah, I saw yeah. the pictures. He's skinny. He's looking good. He's looking but good. there's a part without his shirt on. I'm like, I think that skinny photo people need to like. You don't know what he looks like underneath. He's he's more defined, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and yeah. he just looks healthy. Like he looks healthier. Um, but this movie's awesome. It's so much fun. It's a nice date night movie. It's so fucking harmless. It's not deep. It's not like John Wick where they're like delving into the world. It's of called assassins. the Killer's Game. Yeah, and it's harmless. It's I, lo- uh, I love that. Yeah, no, I love it's that. It's a because it's like it's not even thought provoking. Like I watched this and I just fucking enjoyed it. Wow. Am I gonna go watch it again? Am I gonna buy it on Blu-ray? No, but I just watched it and I enjoyed the ever living shit out of it. That and fun. it's gory. It's bloody. The action, and that's where I, because anytime I go to an action movie, everything else could suck. Everything else could suck. The fucking story could suck. The characters could suck. The the chemistry could suck. All this stuff. But if your action is top notch and I can see what the fuck's happening, it's not looking like a monkey shaking up the whole fucking thing like we've talked about. I hate that. This movie, you can see every little piece happening. There's these, uh, and it's kind of like Bullet Train. Like with how wild some of the assassins uh, are. There's a like how do you thing. say boots in Spanish? Butas or how do you how do you say it? Do you guys know? It's like Botas. yeah. There's an assassin named that because he wears cowboy boots with the the things on the back, and that's how oh, he kills spurs. people. Yeah, he kills them with the spurs. That's cool. And so there's a lot of fun aspects of that. And then how does Dave Batista then take him out and kill him? There's two uh, brothers that ride by or uh, motorcycles and try to kill people with them. And bro, he just kicks one of the bikes straight on, and that dude flies off and gets impaled. And there's just gore that shoots out everywhere. And yeah, it's like totally it's, harmless, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah it yeah, is it's to harmless, a certain extent, but it's it's a fun romantic comedy with action in there too. And I just I enjoyed it. Like it's again, I'm not gonna think deeply about this movie. I'm probably gonna forget about it in a month. But Dave Bautista has good chemistry with Sofia Batello. He's badass as shit. He murders a bunch of people. And in the end of the day, I walked out going. I would pay to watch. Like I would like recommend that to people. Like if you're just wanting a fun date night or something. So I'd give this movie. So just so you know how we review stuff, we don't do sevens because Phil thinks sevens are too safe. Especially if you look at IGN reviews, 99% of the time it's a fucking seven. So I would give this a 6.5 on my actual scale. I'd give it like a C. So it's so a seven. Yeah. But that's my chance. But you can say 6.9 and make it close enough. There we go. Or-